Now this uh, part of the process is being uh, shown at four times normal speed and we're starting to put into the first highlights firstly in the blue garment and to the uh, ultramarine and uh, burnt umber I've added a bit of titanium white. It's not so easy to see the, uh, the difference but um, that's obviously done on purpose. We want the first highlight to be only just visible. There's just a hint of difference in the colour. Indeed, what you can see going on will actually be darker because uh, paint dries darker. And in the brown section I'm instead of just adding white to the uh, raw umber I'm doing what I quite enjoy doing I've done it a couple of times the highlights are done in terravert deep with white that's a completely different color being used as the highlight and you'll see as it builds up how effective that is now, through this uh, bit of the diary, uh, I'll just be uh, painting quite fast, adding uh, with each successive uh, highlight more titanium white. So while that's happening, let me say something about the Apostle Barnabas. And this uh, has been written by Malcolm Coombs for the... Uh, calendar of other commemorations for the Uniting Church in Australia. So he writes, Joseph was nicknamed Barnabas by the Apostles, the tradition of this name given as son of encouragement. We first hear of him in Acts chapter 4, 36 to 37, where he generally, you know, generously sells a field bringing the proceeds to the early church for the needy. He was a Jew of the tribe of Levi and a native of Cyprus. In Acts chapter 11, we hear that the early believers had been scattered because of the persecutions which had happened after Stephen's stoning. Some had spread from Judea as far as Antioch. The church in Jerusalem heard the stories of the gospel message spreading and so Barnabas was sent from Jerusalem. Seeing the grace of God working, as in, it says in Acts 11.23, that he exhorted the people there to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. Acts then glowingly describes him as a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. An encourager by nature, he finds Saul in Tarsus after Saul's transformative encounter with the risen Jesus on the way to Damascus. Even though many believers had been afraid of Saul, now Barnabas brings him back to Antioch where they both encouraged and taught the people in the ways of Jesus. So says Acts 11.26. That Barnabas is listed first in the list of prophets and teachers in Acts 13.1 suggests he could have had a primary role in these ministries, even ahead of Saul at this stage. Apparently, times were tough for the church back in Judea, and so Barnabas and Saul brought aid from Antioch. Now, when we're talking about Saul here, of course, his name changes to Paul. After spending a year ministering in Antioch with Paul, they are set aside for further sharing about Jesus abroad. Here they travelled to Barnabas's home island of Cyprus and on to Asia Minor, following the lead of the Holy Spirit in the evangel evangelical outreach before returning to Antioch. Eventually they report to the church in Jerusalem about the signs and wonders which had accompanied their mission predominantly amongst the Gentiles. A second journey 
is anticipated. However, Paul and Barnabas have a falling out regarding whether they, sh they should take Mark, John Mark with them. We then read of Barnabas going back to Cyprus with John Mark. This is the last we hear of him in Acts. He most likely continued to evangelise widely as Paul speaks of him as being known to the Galatians, to the Corinthian church, and he also speaks favourably of him to the Colossians. Paul will describe Barnabas as an apostle and was very much surprised that even Barnabas could be influenced by false teachers when Paul wrote to the Galatians in chapter 2 verses 11 to 14. Later, legendary stories attribute the writing of the book of Hebrews to Barnabas. Other traditions suggest that John Mark wrote the Acts of Barnabas which describes Barnabas's execution in Cyprus. This work was probably written much later in the 5th century. Tradition also says he was the founder of the church in Milan, being its first bishop, and that he was martyred in 61 of the Common Era. Barnabas was faithful alongside of Paul in sharing the good news of Jesus in the early days of the church. A powerful encourager and a spirit-filled vessel, he was committed to this great news of life in Jesus, which he shared tirelessly. And so ends Malcolm Combe's account of the life of Barnabas. Well, uh, we continue to add the highlights to the two garments. Each additional uh, layer of highlight is applied to a smaller area of the clothing and the uh, each layer is uh, smoothed out. It is um, uh, we need to be able to see uh, the undercoat through it. I've knocked back the blue a bit. I've just and I'm knocking back the um, the brown as well. And this is a watered down version of the base coat, and it softens it right off. done a second glazing it's called a, a second glazing of the um, of the blue garment now with a, uh, a mixture of uh, the original um, colors actually the yellow and black with some uh, burnt umber but using a, a, a blue brush not a fine brush because that would make the lines too sharp just going around and uh, um, delineating the the darker uh, lines and particularly where the shadows are deepest for the final uh, highlights uh, we're using titanium white but rather than adding white to the uh, other colour. It's more a case of adding the other colour to the titanium white. It needs to be put on really carefully and only in very small doses but blending it very carefully. In this case the Terra Vert Deep has been added to make this highlight and on the blue garment uh, blue and burnt umber has been added to titanium white. This is uh, being shown at twice the normal speed so you can see a little bit more of the detail of how it's done.
I've looked back at another icon where I've used this uh, device of having a different uh, colour, uh, a terra vert, uh, as the highlight on top of um, raw umber. And wow, my style has changed over the years. Have a look at this icon of Andrew and how sharp those lines are. And now look at Barnabas and how soft the folds have become. There you have it. Thank you for watching. Next time, let's do the face and hands in detail.